Yeah, what's going on? It's your boy Brendan Bird. Just getting up here, man. Really, just gotta uh, get this cracking, man. I'm, uh, you know, there was another bombing. Um, this bombing actually occurred in San Antonio um, at a FedEx facility. Um, but it, but it was also, but the bomb was actually being mailed from Austin, but it, go, it was going back to uh, back to uh, it was going back to Austin. So it was kind of like a, a, um, a rotate mail, mailing it, um, rotate mail. Um, but yeah, man, this is just showing the, the wide range of capability that this group, I don't think it's a person in it, I don't think it's one man. Normally when you deal with something this type of magnitude and scale, it's, there's a group, there's a group effort in it, you know what I'm saying? Plus, it's, you know, it's, you know, you know how to make the bomb effectively. It's not just making the bomb. You almost know how to make, not just manu sorry, manufacture the bomb, but you know where to place the bomb. Plus, he placed it in areas that he's not detected. You know what I'm saying? So I told, like I said in my last video, you know, this is an expert. This is a professional. He's military trained. And he's, he's, he's definitely very versed in tactical training and also in stealth attacks and training. So this is this is a, a, a very capable person or group that are really really leading this these type of uh, activities and attacks. They are I think they're still racial attacks, but are they? Is, is there a lot of diversion attacks? Yes, I believe. This, these are many diversions of decoys that's just trying to confuse people into not thinking that it's a race, it's a race attack, it's a hate crime, and so far. But to me, this is terrorism. This ain't. This is went beyond. This is beyond just just random crime. And this is just this is killing. This is this is terrorism. This is what it is. Um, but right now, nobody wasn't hurt. I think one person was injured, so that's a good thing. Now, they didn't release the race of that person. So I don't know if it was black or Hispanic or, uh, or white, or it was a woman, or it was a male. They really didn't release them. But, but no one, no one didn't, uh, more people didn't hurt and nobody didn't die, so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, man, he just, I think they're just expanding the horizon, and they're also, to me, I think they're, they're, uh, they're, um, you know, coming with many diversions. I think this is just diversions. Until, you know, cause they, like I said, with Jason Black, I caught Jason Black, uh, so great show, race war, I contribute to it. Um, you know, it, it, it's going, it, it's, it's, I think his documentary is what needed right now. I mean, because if this continue, this this document that Jason Black um, is making and promoting, and eventually will be released, it's going to be very detrimental to us to understand what the, 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 the narrative that we're in and the state of existence that we're in. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, I talked to, when doing the bomb, I, I talked to a couple of Hispanic people, and they were very re reluctant to say a hate crime, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, at first they maybe were a little bit worried when that Hispanic lady got bombed, but, you know, but afterwards, and, you know, they said it was an accident, it wasn't meant for her, I could, I could see the tension kind of die down. Within a lot of people of Hispanic origin, uh, expression. So, so to them, like they weren't relieved they ain't tell. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but Jason Black and I tell many people. I mean, yeah, I know, uh, you know, um, you know, you have Hispanic friends and so far and so far. But there, there's never really no coalition, no allies. Cause if we're allies, there would be just as many anger in the Hispanic community. And then being the black community. So that lets you know 
there's really no allies or no kinship there. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but like I said, man, I think I tell people this is just going to be, this is not the beginning, but this damn sure is not going to be the end. So, I um, hope everybody is, is, uh, is very far. But, oh, you know, ability, and they, uh, they're very aware and they're careful with what they're doing. They stay very cautious of people around. Um, also, there was another uh, school shooting uh, today, I think, near D.C. in Maryland. Um, it was, you know, but nobody died in this school shooting. Um, I think it was a, you know, a male, he brought a gun to, I brought a handgun. He shot two people, he shot, he shot a girl and he shot a boy. Um, he was shot by one of the resource officers over uh, in their school, who, you know, basically a sheriff deputy, and the shooter was wounded. Um, like I said, man, like this ain't, this ain't stopping nothing. You, he brought a handgun in school and shot up people. So I told people, this don't change nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, if somebody don't bring a assault, an assault rifle, they still could bring a 22 or 45, and still you can still uh, shoot several people. So it might won't be masses of people, but if you kill about a good three, four people in the school, that's that's... It's going. It's going to shake. It's going to shake some people. You know what I'm saying? So, you know that that walkout to me, what, what those kids did, didn't didn't do a goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you ask kids, and they say, "Yeah, well, ban them all." I said, "That's cool then," but that's not going to happen because when you if some if somebody who can get guns illegally. And you don't have a gun because you, you, you just, you're just, you're just preyed upon. That's what it is. In, in American society, not going to allow that to happen. It's not. It's just not. There's, there's reasons that's also racial um, undertone behind not taking out the Second Amendment. And that's racial reasons under that. There's origins and uh, alertness and also. Um, a, a lot of um, scare perspective of from while well, the United States would never ban guns, but but yeah, but you know, like I said, I told people like, you know, there was eighteen, there were eighteen mass shootings. Actually, there were thirty six mass shootings. I did a, I did a video like maybe two weeks ago about it, and there were at least thirty six mass shootings. 18 of those were school shooters. So, that lets you know, man, that the, the school shooters is, is not going to stop no time soon. No time soon. Uh, I, I, I really, like I said, I mean, the, the psyche, like we, like I said, man, the psyche of white supremacy is one very deep in American culture, but not just one deep in American society. This one deep to a lot of a lot of European origin society. Yes, that's practically all of South America, all of Central America, Europe, and maybe some parts of the Middle East, and certain parts of Asia, and Australia. You know what I'm saying? So, if, I mean, like I said, to, to, to eradicate white supremacy, organized racism, you, you, you almost practically have to destroy the world and become a dominant and, and actually become the new dominant society. That's the only way to end the system of white supremacy, organized racism. That, that's the only, you, you must destroy it to rebuild. But uh, that was just my take of it, uh, my take on it. Uh, definitely of the that fourth bomb in this world. I wouldn't, I'll, I'll connect it to the, the Austin, but it's, I call it now the San Antonio bar. Even though it was, it was just, it was more in a facility, but it's still a bomb. You know what I'm saying? It's still, it's still a bomb. It's still a bomb. You know what I'm saying? I know they, the media like to say explosives, explosives, explosives. Explosives is, 
Explosives can be anything. A bomb is very specific to kill. Explosives, firecrackers, and, and, and fireworks. Or somebody want to get a can of pop or soda or something like that, explode. That's, that's an explosive. But a bomb, that is a weapon. A lot of people need to understand and take the and take the uh, the recognition of what's what's this, what's the deem as a explosive and what's deemed as a detonation. You know what I'm saying? That was a detonation. So you definitely gotta be wary of what the local news is out there portraying. Um the national news as well. So uh, but you gotta definitely you just gotta read around the the wordplay of the of, of American media. Because they're not going to give you a lot of detail or insights in what's going on in Austin right now. They definitely ain't giving you much insight in what's going on in San Antonio right now. Um, but, like I said, these are diversions and we're, you know, this is what it is right now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so, for the school, so, for the school shooting, um... I think in, the, in some of the articles they said it was actually it wasn't random. It was actually, I think, like a, a scuffle between some students, and the student specifically went right to the the, uh, the female student and shot her. Uh, it was a it was a boy next to the solder that he shot as well, but you know, stay fire. So this is probably something that. Uh, went a little deeper. This is probably with a feud. It could be a love triangle, and so forth and so forth. Um, is it a mass shooting? No, I'm not going to say a mass shooting. You know, like I, already, I already told the definition of, uh, of a mass shooting. Is. So that's not no mass shooting. It's a school shooting? Yes, it is. Uh, no one didn't get hurt. That's a good thing. Uh, but that just lets you know, man, he he brought a handgun. Um, they really didn't explain what type of handgun it was, but it wasn't an assault rifle. So this was this was pretty much a, a, a vendetta that this the shooter had with the two people that he shot. So to me, this is more of a this is more of a, a escalation of tension between the, the the three parties. So it wasn't like a random act of just terrorism. You know what I'm saying? Um, so th that's my intake of that ordeal uh, at that uh, Maryland school shooting uh, that occurred today. It happened today. Uh, but yeah, but um, I like I said, I just want to jump on here real quick and talk about it to give them a little bit of insight. Uh, I'm, like I said, I really, like I said, I'm going to try to drop another video. Um, it's gonna be a, it's actually gonna be a fun fact of history. Um, and, and I, I definitely want to drop a, uh, a fun fact of history. Um, but this but this is kind of like uh, need to be addressed because I you know this is something new to me. I um, I knew about it, but I, I, I did more research on this person. Because it was it's a she, but she was behind the scene, and she was kind of the reason why of the of the that's related to the French Revolution. I mean the the Haiti Revolution. So I was definitely I was definitely um, I would I would.